Hello everyone and welcome. So a while ago I did a login form in Bootstrap and people seem to like that. So today I thought I'd do that again but using Tailwind CSS which is my favourite framework. Um, it's the one I use for all my side projects, really nice to use. Um, so I figured we'd do a quick login form, um, something that looks nice but quite simple to do um, for this video. So the first thing we're going to do is come to this website which is just the get, get started with Tailwind CSS page. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. Um, something to bear in mind is this is running on the CDN, so it's not very good for production. Um, if you are doing production, you'll want to use um, so one of these uh, build build pipelines, I think they call them, like post CSS and stuff. Um, but for this, perfectly fine. This is just going to be a design tutorial. Um, so you can just copy this if you click this button up here, or just highlight it and copy it. And we just need to create an index.html file. So we do that first index.html and let me just change my spaces there we go so this is setting up for just a very basic uh, html file with tailwind css in it so to open this we can just drag this into the browser uh, either that or you can just open it through your file system so as you can see this is working we can test that by changing the size there we go so for excel perfect so i'm going to get rid of that uh, everything else can stay the same. Maybe it'd be worth adding in a title. If we just do a uh, title, that'd be something like login. There we go. So we've got login up there. All right, so we'll get started on the HTML. So I'm going to do um, a main tag just to uh, stick to the, the best practices using semantic tags. Um, so we'll do class equals... And basically what we want is a login form in the middle of the screen. So we're going to do this, um, we can do that using flex. So if I do flex items center, so that'll center it vertically. Uh, justify center, which will do horizontally. And then what we want is it, we want it to be the height of the screen. So by default, it will already be the width of the screen, uh, but we just want it to be the height of the screen as well. So we're going to wrap this in a form. Now, the form's not going to do anything, um, but when you come on, if you want to use this in a project, you'll probably want to wrap it in a form, so we'll just add that here. Uh, no styling for the form. Uh, inside of that, we'll do a div. So this will contain everything. Um, for the login form, so we'll do its name. And we'll do um, background Y. So I think what we'll do here is do background and it'll be something like grey 100. I think that'll be fine if we just do that. So we can see it's gone slightly darker there. Um, and then we've got background white here. Um, we'll do the width of that as 96. Uh, we'll do some padding as well to make it look neat. We'll make it rounded. And we'll add a shadow. Shadow SM just to make it pop a little bit. So now we'll add the image. So I usually, I usually have an image on my logins. It's really up to you if you want to add this or not. Um, but we'll, we'll add it. I think it looks quite nice. And I've got um, a logo here already. So I'll just go into um, basically slash logo.png. But if you want to add something, it'll just be slash whatever the name of this file is. So if we do a div here, and this div is going to have a class of flex. So flex items center. And then justify center. Again, we want to center it. Um, we want to center the image. So we'll also do MB4 just to um, add some space between the image and the form. So let's add an image tag. So if we do, oh, if we do image, and we'll do source equal to, and then I'm just going to do slash logo.png, but you'll do whatever the file name you put here is. Um, we'll do class. And we don't want the image to be too big. So we'll do H32. And that should be fine if I just close that there and we just check. So it's not finding the image. Bear with me. Let me see. Um, slash logo.png. You should get that, I think. If I do this, let's try. Yeah, see, that gets it. Um, try logo.png. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you don't need the slash, apparently. Um, 
yeah, I think it's something to do with it being relative, but yeah, never mind. Um, so just um, remove the slash and just have the file name there. So that looks okay. Um, that is, yeah, that is where we want it, I think. So that's all good. So next we'll move on to the inputs. So we'll add a label. And the text on the inputs are going to be gray. So we're going to do gray 700. I find that um, doing a sort of dark enough so it shows off, shows up nicely uh, on what will be the white background here, but not too dark. Um, I think it's just easier on the eyes, I think. People design things differently. That's just my preference. Um, so you can do whatever you want. But um, yeah, text gray 700. And this will be the email input. So let's see what that looks like. So that looks quite nice. See, that, that's not too dark, but it does show up nicely. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, now we'll do the input. So we'll do input, and we'll give that a class of width full, to take up the full space, py2, uh, we'll do background gray 50. Just to make it a little bit darker than the um, the white. Um, again, we'll do text gray. Really, we could probably do text gray like in the in the surrounding div, but we'll just do it for each input. Um, Five hundred. Um, we'll do px one, and then we'll do outline none. Tailwind likes to add outlines to things, but I well, I don't think it looks good. But you can you can keep the outlines if you want, and then we'll do mb form. We'll keep the spacing fairly consistent. Uh, and then we'll just do that. The type, what we'll do actually, if we'll, we'll make this um, laid out a little bit nicer, so we'll do that. There we go. So we'll do each of the attributes on their own row, just to make it look nicer. And we'll do type is going to be, and we can put the type to email. That should be fine. So we'll look, see what that looks like. So it doesn't show up that well there. If we do um, 100, let's try that. That does show up a bit better actually, yeah. Um, let me check. Is that applying the uh, the yeah the margin? Okay, that's good. They looked quite close together there, but I don't think that's such an issue. Um, I might keep it at hundred. I think that's okay. Um, Fifty. Let's try that. Fifty is quite. Like I think it just I think it's just my screen that's uh, showing it quite light. So basically, we're going to need. Two more of the well, just one more of these. Sorry for the password. One for the password. So what we'll do is we can just copy and paste that, and we will do the type. So we'll do the label as password, and the type as password. And we'll give that a look. See what that looks like. So that is looking good to me. We can add um, an input for remember me as well, which would be good. So if we do uh, input. Input. Input and we'll do we'll do it on separate lines again. Class is equal to MB4. Sorry. And the type is checkbox. Checkbox. And then we'll have a label below it for member me. And we'll see what that looks like. So what we're going to do is add an ID to this. Um, if you notice at the moment, if we click remember me, it doesn't do anything. But if we cl click the tick box, uh, or the check box, sorry, um, that does something. But if we add an I ID to this, so we do uh, oh, ID equals remember. Okay, uh, spelling, <laughs> can't spell. Uh, remember, and then we do a four on this. It will associate the uh, label with the check box. So we do, uh, so the same name as the ID, and then when we refresh it, we should be able to click Remember Me like that. Uh, class, text gray 700. There we go, that looks a bit better. Uh, you might want to, there's not really much styling you can do with checkboxes, so you might want to use another library for that at some point, but um, that looks fine for now. The next thing we need, and really the last thing we need, is a button to submit the form. So if we do button, and the text is just going to be login, and the class, or the type is going to be submit. So we're going to do type submit. You might not need to add this actually because I think the default for a button, if it's in a form, is submit anyway. 
So that should be fine, but um, we'll add that anyway just to be explicit. So we'll do we'll do a blue button. So we'll do black background blue, and we'll do 500. We'll make it the full width. Um, it's up to you whether you do this. I think full width buttons and login forms look quite nice. Um, it's up to you. Uh, then we'll do text gray 100. We'll do py2. We'll make it rounded just to make it look nice. And then we'll we'll add add an add an hover hover effect. Okay, oh, speak. Add a hover effect. There we go. Um, background blue. And we'll go with six hundred, just to make it slightly darker. Um, we can add transition colors as well, just to make it um, a bit smoother. Transition colors. I think that's right. And then we do refresh that. So we've got a login button here. That looks quite nice. Um, you might want to add some more spacing between these. Uh, we could probably do that. So if we do MB6 or something like that. I think that looks fine. Uh, do we need more space in there? I think that should be okay. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, what we could do is add some error. Um, so when you submit the form, uh, if, if there's something wrong with it, you can add errors, but that's really a JavaScript thing. Um, if I give you an example though, so underneath the image, if we do div like this, and we do class equals, and we'll do background red 500, do px3 py2, we'll make that rounded, we'll make the text grey. 100, add a margin there, and then we'll ha have the p tag, oh, p tag, um, and then you, what you would do is you would display, what, display whatever uh, error message you have here, so for example, um, wrong email entered, or wrong credentials, or something like that, we'll just refresh that. So you can see here we've got a, an error handling, you could add like an x here to get rid of the error, or something like that. Um, but again, this is all JavaScript stuff, so this is just design. So there it is. That's a very basic login form, but it'll really do. This is basically what I do on all of my projects if I need a login form. This is my go-to with the image here, nice image. You could have the image um, outside of it if you wanted to, just sort of above it. That might look all right. I don't know if we can do this here, actually, because of how we've done it. Let me try. Oh, yeah, something like that. So you could have the image outside. Um, that would look okay. Um, I've put it inside for now, I think that looks fine. Obviously the error, this will only show up if there's an error. So for example, you could just, if there's no error, it would look like this. And then if they submit the form and there was an error, that would happen. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you want some more CSS stuff, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do that. I really enjoy this kind of stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.